This is a short video about a tragedy called cot death or SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome, where a previously perfectly well healthy baby dies suddenly and unexpectedly, usually during the night, but not always. It can happen to a sleeping baby during the day. It's a tragedy, but you can reduce the risk for your baby. And the Back to Sleep campaign over the last 30 years in the United Kingdom has reduced the risk of cot death to about a tenth of what it was 30 years ago. What causes cot death? Well, all the evidence points to, be it, due to, to it being due to a baby overheating when they're in their cot sleeping. And there's six things you can do to reduce that risk of overheating. First of those, as the Back to Sleep campaign suggests, is babies should be put to sleep on their back, not their front or their side. Of course, when they get older, they may roll over, but beyond the age of six months, the risk of cot death is much, much less. Secondly, keep the room temperature between 16 and 20 degrees centigrade using a thermometer on the wall or a thermostat. And even if the forecast uh, is forecasting a really bitterly cold freezing night outside, don't crank the temperature in the room up. Keep it between 16 and 20. Thirdly, use multiple layers of bedding for your baby, sheets and blankets, several layers, not one thick quilt, because on a hot summer's night, that means you can reduce the number of layers. Fourthly, the baby's feet should be touching the bottom, the end of the cot or the pram when you put them to sleep. Fifthly, keep their head uncovered. Don't put them to sleep with bonnets or hats. Um, that may increase the risk of overheating. And sixthly, do not share a bed with your baby or sleep with them on a sofa or, a, or an armchair. You may roll over on them, but you may also cause them to overheat because of the heat from your body being too close to them and get it getting up close and both of you falling asleep. There are three other things you can do which seem to decrease the risk of cot death, although they're not obviously related to overheating. But they are uh, breastfed babies are at lower risk of cot death, reduced risk of cot death. Uh, babies of parents who don't smoke or don't take drugs or don't get drunk from alcohol, those babies are at lower risk of cot death. And finally, keeping the baby in the same room as you for the first six months of life is a good idea. It will reduce your anxiety. Listening on a monitor can be you just stay awake all night. And that first six months is the highest risk period for cot death. So keep the baby in the same room as you, but not in your bed, in there. Moses' basket in their cot, in their pram. If you follow this advice, then you can greatly reduce the risk and, and hopefully avoid your baby being one of those tragic uh, cases of cot death that fortunately very rarely now, but still occur occasionally in the United Kingdom. Thank you.